guys and welcome back to a new drugstore autumnal makeup tutorial. I've had so many requests for this, especially using drugstore products and I've recently got quite a few new ones together that I've needed to use, especially some products from collection as I'm doing a blog post soon um, with those so I thought I'd get them on my face so I can take some pictures so I thought I would film it at the same time and also this lip colour I'm absolutely in love with this so stick around till the end to find out what this is yeah I hope you're all really really well if you like the look of this makeup tutorial for autumn then just keep watching I'm gonna start off with the Vichy Idelia Life Serum which is really rather lovely on the skin Okay, then I'm going to go in with the, the Me 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 Angel Face Multi Benefit Blemish Balm. Okay, I'm just going to use the Zoeva Silk Finish Brush. Might be a little tiny bit too dark for me, but I'm sure I can sort that out with some bronzer, no problem. Just using circular motions and also taking it down the neck as well so we have no lines. I am very impressed actually with that. Next up is a pretty cool. This isn't the right packaging, but I'll show you inside anyway. This is the new collection Conceal and Light palette. I think they come out on the 14th of October. My under eyes are more blue, so I think that the salmony pink shade will work a lot better for me. This salmony pink shade, and just use my finger to dab that underneath and on top of the blue, just to try and cancel out the purpley blue. I'm going to try this shade here, which is kind of a cool beige toned concealer. I'm just going to put that over top of the more salmony pink shade. For powder, I'm just going to use the Maybelline Matte Maker. This is in Classic Ivory. Just adding that onto my under eyes, keep it set. End of my nose. So I'm now going to use this collection product. This is the Blush and Glow palette. I'm just going to use this darker shade just to get a contour going. You know, I love me some bronzer and this is really good. Look, it's blending so easy. My face is still really, like, bright after that foundation. I'm loving that so much. Just going to squish the brush up and just go down the sides of my nose. Kind of nose contouring for someone that can't be bothered to spend ages on it. You can blend after that. Go down the middle and the sides. I was going to use either this highlight in here or this one in the Face Today palette, but I'm pretty sure that this highlight and this highlight are the same, so it doesn't matter. Pink is still the same there. Two pink shades. This bronzer here is more orange toned, but the highlight is the same, so it depends. And I'm pretty sure they're about the same price. So I'm going to use this highlight. This is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. Pink toned shimmer. It's actually really quite nice. Can you see that? Okay, for blush, I'm just going to use that same palette again. And I'm going to use this more mauvey, it's more of a dusty rose pink. Cute, I like it. Two collection palettes to go for. So I have this Face of the Day palette, which seems to have four different shades in here. Two, two. Or this one, which is Your Style, Your Mood. And it has two different looks to go with. I'm gonna go for this palette. See, it's so lovely. First up, I'm going to take this shade here, which is more of a grey toned, beige toned, shade and I'm just going to run that. I'm going to bring you in just so you can see me properly. So I'm going to use that shade just as my transition shade. I'm just going to take my Sigma E40 and this creamy banana shade and just work that into the brow bone just to blend out that shade there. I'm just going to take this top shade here, which is a more shimmery golden beige. Just going to add that all over the lid. I could easily wear that now, just going out like that with a transition shade and a bit of a shimmer. 
is potentially the look done. I'm just gonna add a little bit to my inner corners, just a little bit. That could literally potentially be the end of that, <laughs> that look. However, it's not done there. I'm going to take this more olive toned one here. So shimmery olive brown. Outer corner and halfway across. Can you see how that sort of transitions through into this deeper golden olive? Might just do a little bit more darkening up with this purpley shade. I'm just going to take it through this crease. I'm going to use, honestly don't mean this to be our collection but it kind of is. Um, this is the collection eyebrow kit in brunette. I know I'm not a brunette but I like my dark brows so that's what I'm going to do. I realise this brush is high end but if I could recommend one brush to you it would be this brush, the Bobbi Brown Eye Definer. It's just one of the best brushes ever for eyebrows. I'm going to go for a mixture of this one and this one, although I feel even this one's probably going to be too dark, but we'll see. Spoolie that out first. I don't want anything too much, like I want this to be quite a wearable, quite wearable, everyday autumnal look. And the handy thing about this kit is that it comes with a little brush wax gel. For liner. <laughs> this is another collection product but it's just something I've been meaning to use for ages. I use this liner from probably the ages of like 12 to probably 22. Definitely was my favourite liner for so long and I recently got a new one. So I thought I'd use it for this and then realised it was a collection and was like another collection product but oh well. Fairly subtle liner. not too bad for one handed. I just want to kind of keep it in line with my eye just so it kind of sweeps out almost like an elongation of my eyelashes. Okay there we go. Oh next up I'm just going to use some mascara. I'm going to use the Volume Million Lashes from L'Oreal. issue with this mascara is that it does nothing for my lashes really because it isn't waterproof. I'm going to use this new lip bullet from Topshop. Get me bodyfied. <laughs> now I've not got a lip pencil that will go with this so I'm going to try this one out first. Maybe go for a bit of an ombre. This is a Topshop lip liner in Girl Bye. I didn't want this to be too gothic, so let's layer over this lip bullet now. I love the consistency of this, it goes on so nicely. I really like it, but I'm not sure if it's too dark for what I was going with, but I think it's just been a little bit too dark because of the liner that I used, but I actually really quite like that now. It's my ombre. Let me give this a go, it's the Fleur de Forces Lip Gloss. I just wanted a little bit of red just in the very centre of this. It's gonna kill my lashes. I know you're not meant to kill your lashes when you've already got mascara on, but these are desperate times for girls with straight lashes. And there we go, my autumnal look. Really, really hope you like this, guys. I actually love it. Um, this is probably my favourite product in here, this lip bullet. In the shade, where is it? Get me bodied, really love that a lot. Yeah, all the products will be listed down below and where you can hopefully buy them from. These products, these collection products I was showing you are only out in October, October 14th. So 
hopefully this video before that but if not look out for a blog post I'll be doing a full blog post on all of the new collection palettes so you'll be able to see more swatches and things really really hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel it'd be great to have you back next time and if that's the case then I will see you then bye Mwah.